and this is Tim Walterbach with Inspiring Better Businesses, uh, I'm finishing up the, the series we've been working on, the Favor series. We are now on R, F-A-V-O-R, Return on Investment. Faithful, accountable, shared vision organization, and now ROI. What is ROI? It stands for Return on Investment. The, the technical term is a percentage that is earned on a company's total cap, capital. Uh, it's calculated by dividing the total uh, capital into earnings before cost. So it's a layman's terms, it's a, just a, a formula uh, for <laughs> profitability after your investment, taxes, and you know, dividends. Okay. What does that have to do uh, with attracting investors and attracting donors? First of all, you got to speak to the king in the king's language. You want to get his attention. And your donors or your investors or business partners are going to be business people. And they're always looking at the bottom line. You so say, that's pretty crass. Well, it's, it's just the reality of it. Uh, no more crass that when um, Jesus said it, put it this way in Matthew 25. Um, I won't go read the, the passage, but the gist is this. He gave one man a few talents, one man a few more talents, and the third man many talents. And he went away, the steward went away. When he came back, he asked for an accounting. The first man said, I buried it, I know you're an austere man, and you're not fair, basically. You, you, you're working off the backs of the laborers. You reap where you sow or not. That's the way it was put. Uh, the, the second man invested a little bit. He took it and it returned a small amount, and he said, well done. And then the, the man who brought back tenfold was even uh, rewarded more greatly. So there is an expectation of taking what we have and returning an investment. If somebody's going to invest in your business, uh, you have to know what, uh, what, uh, how to speak to them in their language. Um, can you effectively, realistically, without inflated numbers, calculate with all the cost that they're going to accrue, what the return on investment is going to be. Um, it's a very, um, uh, should be entered into with a great deal of caution. Your name is on the line, but it's also something in the reputation of your company, but it is also something that often is out of our control. Uh, when I, uh, I'm in standing in uh, a home that I built with an investor and I put together a business plan of what the cost would be, what uh, my building costs would be, labor cost, uh, permitting, um, what his banking cost, I had to think from, from his point of view, what were his banking costs and interests going to be, and, and I put together a budget uh, a realistic budget is what, based on the knowledge that I had, uh, the best of my ability, with, with integrity on the line, of showing what, what the possibilities uh, could be for a return on, on his investment. Uh, when, as a foundation, we had, like I said, we had many people approach us about uh, funding their ministry or their nonprofit. We couldn't help but look at uh, how our money was being used and what was the outcome. What was, uh, uh, if, if we, one of our buckets, remember, one of our, the areas that we gave to our widows and orphans. If, for example, for $1,000 we could support 10 orphans for a year, which we could in, in some third world countries, uh, countries, uh, or that ten thousand dollars might buy a kid in an orphanage in the U.S. a trip to Disney World, 
guess where our money was going to go? Uh, uh, and you got to understand, this is going to be in the mind of uh, a, a, an investor, a partner, uh, a donor. If, if, and you have to be able to communicate honestly and show a track record. That's why it's so hard to sometimes raise funds um, early on. That's why it's so important to, to, to apply faithfulness and accountability and vision and organization because ROI is a byproduct of hitting tens in those areas. And it's possible if you're strong in those other areas that people will be seeking you out uh, because they, they know from your track record that you do what you say you're going to do and that you uh, will at all expense to yourself seek a profit for others. Your rep reputation will precede you. Uh, you line yourself up with, with their vision. You prove uh, what, you know, what you can and communicate effectively, uh, what you can provide. If you can learn those skills, you will have investors lining up at your door. Thank you very much for this time. This ends our favor series, Faithfulness, Accountability, Vision, Organization, and ROI. I uh, wish you all success in attracting those people around you that will help you go to the next level. Thank you.